My name is Sefida Alessi. I'm a PhD candidate at the Digital Humanities Lab of University of Basel. Here in Bernoulliano, I work on the Bernoulli Euler Online Project, which is a platform as a virtual research environment for the humanities researchers, especially the historians of science. In this platform, we have integrated the works and correspondence of Leonard Euler and the mathematicians of the Bernoulli dynasty. So let's go now to my office. My background is in applied mathematics and computer science. After my graduation, I have worked several years in research institutes and industry as a software developer or a research associate. But on the other hand, I always had this interest in history and especially history of science. And I wanted to bring these two separate interests and set of skills together. And the digital humanities field does exactly that. In my PhD project, I do a research on history of mechanics, with which I can understand what challenges the historians of science face in their research. Then I can think about solutions and develop technologies and features which would facilitate their research and introduce new methods for the research. Digital humanities is a relatively new discipline. Therefore, there is a lot of room for creativity and innovation. Computer technologies which are being used in natural sciences or different fields can also be applied for the humanities fields. Or one can think of completely new technologies, especially for the research in humanities. Therefore, in this PhD program, the PhD students can define their own project and offer solutions for the challenges in the field. With the support of the Digital Humanities PhD program, every year I can attend multiple international conferences, symposiums, and workshops where I can present my research and learn about the other projects out there and do some networking. I also have had the opportunity to collaborate with other projects such as the Leibniz Correspondence Portal of the Göttinger Academy of Sciences and Humanities and the Newton Project of the University of Oxford. Based on this collaboration, I could spend a couple of semesters as a visiting PhD in the University of Oxford, where I attended several courses, seminars, which helped me advance my research project. Here at the DH Lab of the University of Basel, I can communicate ideas with the other team members and also colleagues from the DASH Data Service Center for the Humanities, which ensures the availability of the Bernoulli Euler online platform and the research data in it for decades after my graduation, so that the researchers and scholars have access to the Bernoulli Euler online platform long after the project ended. Here we also have some social activities like barbecue or sports and of course we don't forget to enjoy the Swiss traditions of fondue and raclette. Now let's go and talk with my supervisor, Professor Rosenthaler, who can tell us more about this program. My name is Lukas Rosenthaler, I'm the professor for digital humanities at the University of Basel and working in the Digital Humanities Lab. The students that are in our PhD program learn how to deal with digital data in their humanities research. I think it's very important that they learn about the methods, about how to work with digital research data. As you know, many of the sources have been digitized or are being digitized for research, old books, old manuscripts, uh, images from art, and so on. And there are new tools, new methods, how you can deal with this kind of digital information. It's very important that the PhD students learn about these methods, how to use them in an effective manner. And they have to learn also about the other problems that digital data poses. For example, digital data is very short-lived. In humanities research, normally the results are lasting for many years, decades or even centuries. On the other hand, in the digital world, the lifetime of digital data is very short. For this, the DH Lab in Basel has 
founded a new institution, the Data and Service Center for Humanities, which tries to preserve digital research data on the long run. And the students have to learn how to deal with this problem, how they can save their digital results for many, many decades. So the students get a very practical um, education that they really can use these tools. They have to learn some programming. They have to learn about the nature of digital data so that in their later life, be it in industry or be it in research, they really can use it and apply it in a meaningful manner. Hello, I'm Vera Schieke. I'm the coordinator of this PhD program in Digital Humanities. And graduates of our program can start their academic or non-academic careers with the best qualifications and requirements because we offer a wide network of corporations with other universities, with cultural heritage institutions such as archives or museums and other um, research institutes at, as the Data and Service Center for the Humanities. And our interdisciplinary program welcomes PhD students from all um, disciplines at the University of Basel. And you can check our website for more information.